Hello and welcome back to the online console video tutorials. This is video tutorial number two and in this tutorial we're going to cover the Nintendo 64 games. Uh, in this tutorial we're just going to give you a basic uh, lowdown on how to enter and exit full screen. We're also going to show you how to save your game files to your desktop or a folder of your choice. Um, so first of all what we're going to do is we're going to navigate over to the Nintendo 64 games. And we're just going to pick a nice simple game here. We're going to we're going to uh, go for Mario Kart. I'm going to go ahead and close the advert. And as I've said in previous tutorials, this website is funded. All the servers and website fees are funded and covered via advertising. So if you do use an ad blocker, please go ahead and exclude us or whitelist us. Your your support is appreciated. Uh, my job is out of date, so I'm going to click Run this time. This is your security error. Once again, this error is so that we can run signed code um, from the Java cache. So you want to go ahead and click accept. Uh, if you haven't already done so in the past and you don't want to keep seeing this message, you can tick always trust the content from this publisher. But for now, we're just going to click run. Okay, you'll see the game launcher appear, the blue button. Uh, once again, I'm going to stress that this blue button is only compatible with Windows based systems. Mac, Linux, no good only Windows based systems. If you're using Windows 8 make sure you run it in desktop mode. So we're going to load up the game. Okay so as you can see Mario Kart has now loaded up uh, and what you're going to do what first of all is the uh, the save option on this particular emulator is a save state option. Uh, there's no memory cards involved. Um, so the first thing that you are going to want to do is you're going to want to go to system and you're going to want to go to settings and this is the settings box that you will see when you do that you will have it like that. Most users will. So we go back to settings that this is how you will see it. You'll have the plugins and you'll have the options. What you want to do is untick hide advanced settings and click OK. So now when you go into your settings you'll see a lot more options. Uh, what you're looking for is directories. So you want to change the Nintendo 64 auto saves. You want to tick that there and then you want to choose where you want it to save to. So if we choose desktop and click OK and then click OK again if we go to then system and save uh, save state save as desktop Mario save one and click save so now you will see that on there appearing. So then if we go back to load Mario save one and it will take you back. So if we go into the game a little bit and then click system load Mario save one you will see it takes you exactly back to where you came from. So once again that's options, settings, directories Nintendo 64 auto saves and then if you want the instant saves to go there you need to tick that go to desktop click OK and OK again that way when you do a quick save so if you just click save it will save it directly there and then when you go to system and then load you can just click that one and off you are back there so once again we go further in the game okay so there you are you're in the game you click save system save nice quick save appear on your desktop or whichever folder it is that you chose to uh, save it in. So we go save as 
Mario 2. There it is, Mario 2. So if we drive down the road a little bit, and we come over here, and then we go back to system, load, Mario 2, open, you'll be right back where you started. And that will work across any games on the Nintendo 64 that's on the website. Another thing we're going to look at while we're here is configure, configure the controller plugin. Now, pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you want to change any of the buttons on your keyboard, you can do so by pressing this button here, highlighting it, and then clicking the button that you want it to be. So we'll just click this and we'll just do a P. So there you go. You can uh, configure any of the buttons on the controller that you want to change them to. Um, I'm pretty sure this supports the controller. So all you'd have to do once you've got the controller plugged in is highlight it and then press the button on the controller. Uh, unless I'm misinformed. Problem is I don't actually have a controller plugged into this PC at the minute to show you. But uh, if there's any problems just contact us let us know and uh, we'll uh, change and amend the tutorial. There are two ways of getting into full screen mode. One is by holding out and hitting enter which will take you directly into full screen mode or you can go to options full screen and exit via pressing out and enter you have other options in there such as you know if you've got directories open you can press options and always on top that means you know anything you'll have won't even interfere with your game uh, apart from that that's pretty much it for the uh, Nintendo 64 tutorial. Everybody's graphics card and PC setup will be different, uh, depending on processors and graphics cards. And you can go in here and you can change some of the resolutions, and you can uh, you can play around with a few of the settings, the anoscopic filtering, and and what have you. There's lots and lots in there to play with. Um, if you break anything, don't worry too much about it. Just close the emulator down. And reopen it. Um, with the Nintendo 64 emulator most of it will save. Um, it will save to a configuration that's saved upon your PC. So if we close this down and we open this back up and we refresh Mario Kart Click run this time. Open the game back up. Let's go back into the options and settings and directories. As you can see, they're all saved for you. So you won't have to keep going back into the directories to change where your save paths are. Uh, same with screenshots, you can set all of them up. Nice and simple. If you want to hide the advanced options once you've finished playing around, you can do. You just go back there and you'll have a simple set of options. So that's it for the uh, Nintendo 64 tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching and keep your eye out for further tutorials coming your way very, very soon.